There was something in here. There, I know there is something in there. That's why I said quite it. Makes me wonder what was in there. I don't know. All right, what is this? Hopefully not live bugs like that other, like our other video. <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we got our next Amazon coffin for you. Uh, we got some on a pretty sweet deal. We got them marked down so we thought we'd go ahead and snatch them up because money not spent is money earned. Remember that. Uh, if you haven't been here before, Amazon coffins are basically mystery boxes of Amazon returns. Uh, we buy them not knowing what's inside and then we sell stuff. So uh, it's kind of a hobby that Sarah and I do on the side. So we're gonna share with you our first, like our initial impressions of everything as we don't know, the box is currently taped shut. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. So Sarah, do you wanna go ahead and open it up? Sure, why don't you explain it on the stickers? Uh, so, you can't really see it very well. I'm gonna, I'll do my best here. You can see that sticker there. There's four of them, which we've never seen four on a box before. But then it says batteries are in here, so there could be some very good items inside this box. We will see soon enough. We have some interesting looking stuff. A couple of these I see are repeats. Yeah, so you want to kick off with something? All right, I'm going to start with something that we've seen before. This is the Hot Tools uh, one inch gold curling iron wand. Very nice curling iron there. This is a repeat item. It is a baby Brezza, uh, it's a instant warmer. We have an open box of Nurture Ultra Thick Bathing Wipes. This next one is a mystery box. It's clinky clinking going on in there. It's very crushed. Yeah, while well, you're opening that one. So this is a Cura Hair Dryer T3. I don't know anything about this brand, but it looks very fancy with that white and rose gold. We do go through all of these items and inspect them and try to make our best judgment on the Ooh. quality of the item. I'm gonna guess somebody just got this and the box was smushed because it looks like it was packaged very nicely, like almost like nobody's ever taken it out. This looks like something that you might put in the shower or something to hold other stuff. I'll show you the picture of what it's supposed to be. But it looks like we got just about everything on the inside from a quick glance. Here's another repeat. We haven't seen this one in a while. This is the Sound Spa Portable, little sound machine. We have had one of those in the past. Uh, they sold, so that's nice. Oh, what is this? It says, Moments Last a Lifetime Baby Ornament Keepsake Kit. So this one could be a hit or miss. So it looks like the product is still, you know, in the sealed stuff there. Um, some of the examples on the cover are like a baby's foot or hand. I'll show you the front of that box there. So the the actual pieces that you use to make these feel like, you know, they're in brand new condition. So we will check out the rest of that stuff. See? Okay, I laughed when I first saw this one because it's Yankee Candle brand and it feels very light. So I thought it was an empty candle, but really there's fragrant fragrance spheres in there. They look like little jelly egg balls. Um, it clearly has been opened before even though the foil's on there, because you can just twist the cap off. So, I don't know, it's, it's weird and very interesting to me. I haven't seen one of these before. Uh, the next thing we got here is uh, Philips Norelco Shaver 2300. 
obviously it has been opened. Um, I don't see any hairs or anything, so I do not believe it's been used. Um, so yeah, there's that guy. Uh, next we have a children's book, Elma and the Worry Stone. I don't see any crayons or writing in it. It's just a little warped, but otherwise it looks like it's a fine book. We have an adult cup and support. Uh, based on the look of the packaging, it looks like it's brand new. Um, doesn't appear to be open, so got one of those. Uh, I have a mystery item here. There's two things that look like they're very similar in size and shape, so I'm going to open those up and see what they are. While she's doing that, we have a Oral-B Pro 1000. Um, pretty typical for these to be in here. I, it was opened at one point, they checked it out. A lot of times that we've noticed the reason why they're returned is because the color that it shows on the box isn't the color of the item on the inside, and then pretty much everything is brand new in the box. So that's a big thing to look out for there. Okay, so I was right, these two items are the exact same. Uh, they are um, little caddies. Ooh, that's kind of hard to see with that background. Um, but basically there's four little sections in this little cab caddy uh, for holding, I don't know, makeup brushes, toothbrushes, what have you. Um, whatever you need to hold. Maybe uh, paint brushes, anything that you might need to have in a little see through storage cupping. and we got two of them. Our next item is a Camelback and what that is is it's a backpack that you put water in and then there's a mouthpiece so you can drink the water from your backpack. Um, when I was in band a lot of people had these for band camp or running around outside in the heat. Uh, very very popular item. Oh this is heavy and falling out the bottom. All right. What, this is definitely one of the things that was adding weight to this box. Holy cow. I think... Ooh, this is going to be messy. Strap in. I believe this is a pink Himalayan salt lamp. That is definitely what it is. And it is definitely broken. I can feel it in two pieces. So I'm not going to take it out any further than this. Just because I don't want the salt to go everywhere. But so, that's, uh, that's what that is. Just like that item, sometimes you get other trash. No idea what this is, but it is not looking any good. Is it empty? It sure feels quite empty. There was something in here. There, I know there is something in there, that's why I said quite empty. Makes me wonder what was in there. Alright, what is this? Hopefully not live bugs like that other, like our other video. <laughs> uh, this one says Yale Real Living. Sold as set. Oh, this is a, some electronics. Looks like it's some sort of, uh, yeah, it's a lock for the door. You know, padlock code and whatnot. I do go through these uh, very particularly to make sure everything is there before we sell them. So, that'll be my project later on. This is a set of plates. Ooh. And I could see that the bottom one in the stack was broken. I was hoping this top one looked like it was okay, but no, it's got a big old crack in it here too. So I am sadly not anticipating any of these to be usable. Maybe one or two. And I think there's another set here. Yeah, it's got the same issue where they're all falling apart. You can see a big old chunk missing here. So. Maybe there'll be one or two in that stack also, and we'll have a set of like four. I'm not sure if it'll really be worth anything, but. Uh, in the past, we've gotten stuff that has to do with firearms. Here's a new one for us, new for us. Caldwell Mag Charger Rotary 22 LR. Load Rotary. Load Rotary. 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 Load Rotary <laughs> magazines in seconds. Uh, so I'm curious to see how that one works. Interesting. Sounds like it loads Rotary magazines. Yeah, really quickly. Cool. This is a uh, mystery box because I can't tell what the labeling says. says it is. Beach 
good thinking blenders. Well, that's definitely what's in here, because here's a blender lid. This thing is very dirty. I think because they're poor packaging. Yep, somebody definitely used this, but it's not broken, so that's a good sign. And we have the base in here too, so a little cleanup and that thing will be good as new. I think this is part of a dish set that probably went along with the dishes that uh, Sarah looked at that were broken. That looks like it's a pot that's missing the handle. Oh, it has the handle inside. That. It just looks interesting, that's for sure. Yeah, I uh, I guess it's just not assembled. I would say the only thing wrong with it, it's got this little tiny chip right there, but that's, I mean, that's not going to affect your cooking on the inside. Uh, okay, how about this? This is, uh, I can see it's camouflage. It's it like looks a... like a coat. Or no, these are sheets, I think. Those are bed sheets. Hello. Says something on it. What does it say? Roar! It's a dinosaur. <laughs> Very nice. Dinosaur bed sheet set. Nice. Here we got some ink for the a brother inker. Brother inker. Brother printer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take a look. See if these guys look like they're new. There is a quilt or comforter with this. That's nice. Well, they're still in the shrink, like, still shrink wrapped, for super nice, still has the cap on there, that's what that orange piece is, so my guess is they saw the damaged box and just assumed these were no good, so, print your ink. Jeremy, I mean, this is something you've talked about possibly wanting before, although it looks like somebody may have used one of these. This is a body wash, shampoo, and conditioner dispenser for your shower. Hey, They have those at Disney and I like them. Oh, what else do we still got here? This is a wireless charging pad, 15 watts, good for Apple, Samsung, Google, or LG. Box is clearly open, but product is still in there. These two things look like they go together, so why don't you get that one and I'll get this one. A small... Uh, set of decorative mirrors. I believe they're supposed to look that way. You know, I, I think it's so. It's like a vintage look. Yep. It says it's a 12 by 16 uh, picture frame with two mats. So let's take a look. Oh, and it's a two-pack. Nice. Wow, these are uh, pretty cheap. The frames are literally falling apart to the point where it can't even hold the glass in there. Um, I would say there's a good chance that's why this got returned. There's the two mats. And the other frame that I can hardly hold together. This looks like, I'm probably wrong, but it looks like uh, a tie for your bike on a bike rack. That could be way off. This could be where some of the batteries came into play. There is a solar robot. Ooh. Educational. That's pretty cool. We all need our edumacations. Looks like there's a handful of things you can do. Uh, this is Ziploc space bags. Box is pretty crushed. I'm not sure if they're all in there, but I mean, there's there's only supposed to be three, so I gotta imagine if the three aren't in there, at least two of them are. This is a shock collar for training your dog. Uh, this is a entry door kit, door handle kit. Package is still sealed. This is a Contigo um, drinkware or glassware. It's a terrible design because of this, the way the stickers are on there. And 
This is why. Okay, Amazon, hear me out. Why would you put a shipping label on that and then ship it? We've had issues with Amazon shipping in the past. And is that seriously what that is? Yes, that's the shipping label on a, the drink bottle. <laughs> I'm appalled. No wonder it has this big old dent in there. Maybe you can't see it, but it's got a big dent right here. Okay. Um, this looks like a sippy cup of some sort. Phillips Advent. This has got to be some type of baby item. This is a brand new Scotch Utility Knife. New out of package. I have no idea what this is. Toothbrush thing of some sort. Uh, it's it says brush and floss, so it's uh, I'm gonna say it's like a water pick, except just a different brand. And it's got that lovely rose gold trim, so they're trying to be fancy there. We have our favorite type of item, which is heavy, heavy sarcasm. Car parts! We have it from AC Delco. Open it up. I am not a car person, so you tell me. <laughs> and, and just like that, what the heck is this? What in the world, people? I, I, I don't know. There's the box for it. Here's Whatever a, this part is. Here's a better looking water bottle from Camelback. I'm going to take this one out. That's a pretty cool design. While you're doing that, we've got a Chefman Anti-Overflow Waffle Maker. There's what the other side looks like. And just like what Jeremy was saying earlier, this one also had the shipping label just right on the front there. Why would you want this to show up on your door like this? I don't know. There's that water bottle from Camelback. Pretty nifty. Uh, looks like we got a couple items left. Maybe one more after the two that are in our hands. This I don't know, but looks like the brand says Project Nursery. So this has got to be some sort of baby item. I know what these are. These are alien antennas. Mm. <laughs> That's about all I got. Otherwise, they look like table legs. Of some I have sort. no idea. There's only two of them. They don't. They don't go in each other, so they can't like line up to make a bigger stack. What the heck is this? Their last item. It looked like a drill to me. Is it not? Mm -hmm. You tell me. Is it a taser? Reminds me of one. It's a slide driver. Oh. What a slide driver is, I don't know. I'll take it out of the bag so you can get a better look. Uh, looks like it's USB chargeable. I don't know. It just looks like a normal drill to me. But obviously with a very weird attachment point to it. So... It's got the charger. Yeah, it's got the little charging cable. It's got the manual. Just no box. That was the last item for us, so uh, that's what we got in the box. There's probably roughly 30 to 35 items that come in these boxes typically. Um, obviously, we've, you've seen in the past, if you follow this channel, that sometimes there's a little less, and that happens. But if you are interested in seeing more of these, make sure to turn on your notifications. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop a like if you like this video. And then drop a comment letting us know what you thought was the most random in this box. And then as always everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.